What's up guys? Welcome back to Ghost and Games. Welcome back to another Sword Art Online and Tickle Factor video. And in today's video, we have a new update for a new event. I swear to God that I, I think the developers are playing some sort of weird, sick game on us. Like, they are so intent on giving these, these events, like, weird things to make you feel uncomfortable. Like, we had the wedding event where we had to kill cream cows to make cream pies. And now, in this event, we gotta kill a bear and steal his nuts. I'm sorry. We gotta kill a bear and steal his big nuts. And trade in his big nuts for items. I'll let you think about that one for a second. So, with the maintenance update, we had... A few things leave us and we had some things come so no pun intended with the big nuts maintenance content so what we got here is search for the phantom mushroom begins we got a new fox avatar order which is just avatar stuff sultry sunshine banner is gone along with the nephilia battle that's gone swimsuit avatar order is gone as well apparently there were some issues with the ranking events with the evil gaze hunt that they uh, they fix something with the ranking displaying the final okay so ranking displaying with the final places incorrectly from 800 place so they I guess they made some adjustments there um, fix an issue where the animation wouldn't display correctly for some skills with debuff effects fix issue with status ailments resistance from some skill records uh, we will be sending out a token of apology for the maintenance 50 arcana gems other small adjustments and fixations. New events, so it's, it's basically showing the new events. So let me go ahead and click into these events here. Honestly, I, I'm not a fan of, of this update. I mean, it's not really an update. It's just like new events that they decided to throw in here just out of the blue, I guess. I, I'm not a fan of them. I don't I don't like things like this. Like, I don't like Avatar stuff so much because it's to me, it's a waste of time. Um, I'm not going to go and grind out of an event to basically skin this bear, steal his big nuts, and wear his skin. I'm not doing that. Um, and, and it's not so much anything to do with like the fact that like you know we're wearing a bear suit. I, I just I just find it like a tedious event for no reason. That's my opinion. Other people like this stuff. I'm not for me. Not for me. We also have a um, we also have our very first weapon avatar skin. Which is only for bows. Uh, I don't. Mm, again, not a fan, because when they start introducing things like this with you know weapon avatar skins, that just means that they can now throw it into a Gasha as well and try to get more of our Arcana gems that they don't give us so much of. We can get new stamps. So if you guys are stamp collectors, okay, cool. Um, like I said, it's it's your basic run of the mill effect. Um, effect a run of the mill event. You grind it out for currency and you trade in that currency in order to get special things like um, that avatar outfit. Golden fruit trade list to get healing potions, restorative potions, cleansing potions, revive crystals, glare stones, record frames, release crystals, big nuts, happy grapes, stamps, badges. Yeah. So now when you get the big nuts, you trade in the big nuts for these things. Uh, restorative potions, revive crystals, glare stones, record frames, release crystals, martial arts text, and the bear suits. Top and bottom for both male and female. Bear suit head A for both ma male and female, and head B for both male and female. So you get you, you get the bear's big nuts, and then you get you get his head. I was gonna say something else, but yeah, no, I'm not going to. Uh, rare mush bow bright. So this is the avatar skin for the weapon. Honestly, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of this stuff. Um, yes, you can grind this event out for a couple Arcana gems, and and luckily they give it to us relatively early, so it's not it's not letting me scroll to the scroll to the side or anything. That's that sucks. Um, as you can see here, they give it early, so 600 points, you get 50 Arcana gems, 1,000 points for the interior. So I'm sorry, 600 points for the harvest, 800 points for entry. A thousand points for interior, 12, uh, 1200 points, and so on and so forth. So they're giving the Arcana gems relatively early, 50 Arcana gems each time. Uh, I don't believe they give any more. No, they don't. Now you can get some more Arcana gems by completing 
the challenges complete the entry within a minute and 30 seconds you get 50 arcana gems interior 100 and depth 100 so three minutes and two minutes to give a little bit more time on that going into the other i guess the avatar order i mean if you guys are into this stuff fine i honestly i don't like it it's it's just it's a waste of arcana gems for me you know like they there's nothing it's nothing but cosmetic stuff um so i i personally i don't see the point of it i don't see the point of it and they're also saying to check out our official facebook page i mean for me what's the point they don't really have any good any communication between the company or the developers and the player base so i don't see the point in checking out the facebook page except for like updates that you would probably get faster from me or from the reddit that like their facebook page is pretty damn slow to update so by the time the by the time the updates actually already in the game it takes like another 15 hours for them to put it on the facebook page so you'll see it by logging into the game the updates before it's on the facebook page or you'll get like the updates from me or maybe another youtuber or or from the reddit or discord or whatever like yeah the Facebook page is really slow to get any updates and like I said there's there's absolutely no communication between the player base and uh, and the developers uh, so if I go in here I should have the 50 Arcana Gems I have the 50 Arcana Gems all right I'll just go collect those with that there's not really much else to be honest oh look we have part two okay so this wasn't in there but we have part two for the um, for the Alice in Wonderland banners here so that's that's cool uh, I actually, I, I was waiting for this one. Uh, so we can go through this really fast. <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. Not sponsored. Um, alright, so we got the Asana skill, which I've, I've gone over these skills before. Okay, but I'm gonna go over it a little bit more, because now that we actually have the skill, we can actually take a look at the skill itself. So, we have a new Sunny Hill Asana uh, it's a two. It's a spear type skill. I actually like this. Like it's really fast. It's an AOE, um, and I can see why. Before I mentioned that it's going to have a range. So if you're at optimal range, you're going to deal more damage. So I can see why it's doing that. This is like um, if you guys play League of Legends, it's like Darius's uh, spin attack. So Darius has an axe. If you're at optimal range of him with the axe, you deal more damage and it causes bleed. Where if you're if the enemy's too close and you hit him with the handle, it does less damage and does not bleed them. So that I like this skill. It's a fire skill, 550% damage, four times hit all foes. It's not a high damage skill unless it's an at optimal range. Then it does 1.8 more damage. So times 1.8 damage. So 550% times 1.8, uh, I, you know, I was going to say percent, but it's not percentage. Um, the downside to the skill is it draws enemy aggro very easily. So if you're in a party, it's going to cause some side effects. This skill though, this skill right here, I really like this skill. This skill is like, first of all, that attack animation is bad ass, like really bad ass. Trouble Rabbit Silica. Joker Turbine, it's a club type skill, fire damage, obviously blunt type damage, 780%, uh, 3 times hit, AoE, removes the, removes, removes the enemy's uh, attack um, buff when switch is activated, and it doubles the damage, uh, the, doubles the next damage towards enemies when the switch is activated. Also effective for other party members' attacks, so basically the other... The other, your party members will do bonus damage as well. This is a really good skill. I love this skill so freaking much. I'm not a club user, but if I got this skill, I would be a freaking club user. That's how good this freaking skill is. Um, I'm actually going to do an, uh, some summons on this. I can do a full round on this. The problem is, the problem with, these, with this banner. Okay, the, the biggest, biggest problem with this banner. Is that the rates are trash? Okay, they're the freaking skills are fantastic, but the rates are trash. My biggest, my also concern, my also concern, my also biggest concern is that there might be a part three to this. Uh, I'm hoping there is because the banners are only active for three days, 
and usually when that's the case there might be a part three and they might put all of them together so I could order now and run the risk of a part three coming out with all the all the skills on there uh, plus it being a five-step banner maybe better than what this is um, it, it's just it's one of those things where it's like I really like I would love to pull both of these skills just because of how good they are um, but the the rates is really bad 0.65% is really bad when we get to step three it's 1% to get them and it's not guaranteed so that's the other problem it's not guaranteed that you will get it you know it, it's 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 a huge gamble but both of these skills are very good I love the attack animations of both of these skills I would really want them really really want them I, I like the fact that the asana is a slashing type instead of a piercing or thrust type whatever you want to call it um, and they're both fire type skills I really really like these skills um, I, if I do a if I do an order on these banners or on this banner it'll be in another video just because I am, I'm thinking I'm debating if I want to order on this or not but uh, with that being said thank you so much for watching the video today I do appreciate it make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and check out Maverick games down below in the description if you want to purchase some cheap arcana gems in order to summon on these banners because like I said it's fantastic skills but the banners are trash trash you guys have a great rest of your day. I will catch you all later. Peace out, guys.